In today's video, I will be back testing this Forex scalping strategy on the 1 minute chart which has crazy result and a reversal trading system for beginners created by FX Accurate US. This strategy uses reversal indicator, so watch till the end and see the reason why I stopped trading using this method. Reversal trading works perfectly well on crypto forex and stocks when combination of the best indicators are present. This strategy will be back tested on the TradingView platform and also making use of some forex technical analysis. Do make sure to like, share and subscribe as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay guys, for this strategy, we are looking at the Euro United States dollar, and we are on the 1 minute time frame. Let's quickly go over the indicators used on this video. For the first indicator, we would be using the Madrid Trend Squeeze by Madrid. This study spots the points that are most profitable in the trend with a code color and shape. This also shows trend divergences and possible reversal or re-entry points. And for the second indicator, I want you to search for the back testing with L2 reversal labels as an input source with sextan in brackets by Black Cat 1402. Now for the settings, we would not be adjusting any of its settings as it was noted that the defaults are best for this type of strategy. Okay guys, now let me explain how this indicators work before we dive into how we make use of them. For the reversal indicator, we notice it only gives the yellow and purple spike when an opportunity for trend reversal occurs, as the purple spike indicates a bullish reversal and the yellow spike indicates a bearish reversal. Now please note that these type of indicators tend to give false signal when a valid long trend is in place. Now for the second indicator, we have the Madrid Trend Squeeze Indicator. This study spots the points that are most profitable in the trend, with a code color and shape. This also shows trend divergences and possible reversal or re-entry points. Keeping the parameters simple, this study only needs one parameter, the length of the base moving average, which by default is set to 34. There are seven colors used for the study. The green which shows the uptrend, the maroon which shows the downtrend, the lime spots the current uptrend leg, the red spots the current downtrend leg. Also the yellow which indicates the trend has come to a pause and it is either a reversal warning or a continuation. These are the entry, re-entry or closing position points and so on. To learn more about the indicator, then check the description page on TradingView to get better insights on this. As it could help you combine different strategies that work on crypto, forex and even stocks. Now we are equipped with the strategies, let's now dive into the rules for a buy and sell trade to better understand how these strategies work. For a buy signal to be valid, we first need to see a yellow spike on the L2 reversal indicator as it indicates change in price direction on a bearish trend. This is our first confirmation. Then we would want to check our Madrid trend squeeze indicator as we would want to see it below the zero line as our confirmation entry. When we have this, we would want to open a buy order. And as we can see here, we have our conditions met, as the reversal indicator gives us a signal to go long, and we can see our confirmation indicator confirming our entry, so we would open a trade at this candlestick. Our stop loss at recent swing low, while take profit levels are at two times the risk. And we see it was successful. Here is another buy trade we would have taken. So we see we have our conditions met, as we have the yellow spike on L2 reversal indicator. We can also see we have our confirmation indicator below the zero line. We would now be placing a buy order at this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss and take profit remains the same. And we see it was successful. Exactly the opposite is true for a short trade. For a sell signal to be valid, we first need to see a purple spike on the L2 reversal indicator as it indicates change in price direction on a bullish trend. This is our first confirmation. 
Then we would want to check our Madrid trend squeeze indicator as we would want to see it above the zero line as our confirmation entry. When we have this, we would want to then open a sell order. And as we can see here, we have our conditions met as the reversal indicator gives us a signal to go short and we can see our confirmation indicator confirming our entry so we would open a trade at this candlestick. Our stop loss at recent swing high while take profit levels are at two times the risk. And we see it was successful. Here is another sell trade we would have taken. So we see we have our conditions met as we have the purple spike on L2 reversal indicator. We can also see we have our confirmation indicator above the zero line. We would now be placing a sell order at this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss and take profit remains the same. And we see it was successful. Let's take one more trade before we start with our back test. So we see we were in a bullish trend before we got our signal to go short. And looking at our confirmation indicator, we can see we have the histogram above the zero line. We would now go ahead and place a sell order at this trigger candlestick. Stop loss at recent swing high, while take profit at two times risk. And we see it was successful. Okay guys, let's now quickly go over our back testing. As we would be using an account size of $1,000 and risking 1% of account size on each trade. And as you all know, we always test our trades 200 times to make sure it's profitable on the long run. Let's dive into it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy and we can see the results are not really that amazing. I'm not trying to mock anyone, but this strategy is not worth trying as it made a lot of losing trades when back testing. We had a win rate of 32% out of the 200 back tested trades. Having 164 and lost 136, which decreased our account size by 8%. If commission and spread fees were added, we would have experienced more drawdown with this strategy. Trading reversals is hard, so you need the perfect indicator combination to be able to get an edge in the market. Alright guys, I think that's it for today. Do not forget to check out our spreadsheet where we rank different strategies back tested on this channel if you want to become a profitable trader. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.